Hello? My name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE general test, 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. You need it in order to get ready for the exam. It has seven exams. An excellent source to prepare for the exam. Don't waste your time and money practicing the fake exams. The problem that I'm about to do is the one that you're going to find on page number 200. Quantitative comparison question, the very last one. Number 15. The very last question is supposed to be the most difficult question in this set. Uh, three fourths of the oh, sorry, four fifths of the people, four fifths of the people who took the exam got it wrong. Only 19% got it right. Only 19%. So that's what it is. Let's take a look at it. It's all about paying attention and and, and understanding and, and putting in the time to understand the question. It's not the math that uh, that trips people off. It's, the math is very simple. You just have to learn how to take the exam. That's what it's about. Which is what I teach. When I do the private tutoring, uh, it's a skill that you have to acquire. It's not the math. Let's take a look at it. It's like going to somebody to, to uh, go, going to a driving school and learning how to drive. It's a skill that you are acquiring, or hiring a piano teacher to learn how to play piano. Taking a standardized exam is a skill. One needs a professional to teach one how to acquire that skill. Let's take a look at it. Enough of the sermon. It's, I'm going to read it with you here. Make sure you open the book, page number 200, and read it with me. It says, S, S is a set of all fractions in the form. So, S is a set of fractions of the form n plus n plus 1. For example, if I tell you that the n is 7, that the fraction that I'm dealing with is 7 over 7 plus 1, obviously. I'm dealing with 7, 8, and so on and so forth. Whatever the n is, the numerator is n, and the denominator is one more than that. And I'm also told that n is to be, n is a positive integer, n is a positive integer less than 20. Now let's make a note of all of that. All of these pieces of, all of these pieces of information are very important, even though I, I just read it casually, and I read it Look, that, look it up that word and learn it. Even though I read it casually and cursorily, the adverb for cursory would be cursorily. To do something cursorily means to do something hastily. To do something haste, to do something in haste, means to do something uh, cursory means to, to do uh, haste. To do it in a haste. Let's take a look at it. So even though I read, even though I just read it cursorily, very casually, very cavalierly, I have to, I'm going to go back and read it one more time properly. It says where n is a positive integer less than 20. So n has to be positive. n, I'm told, is, has to be an integer. What does integer mean? Integer means it needs to be a whole number. And then also I'm told that n is less than 20. So the question is, how many possibilities are there for n? n can assume how many different values? n can assume 19 different values because of the fact that it needs to be positive, because of the fact it has to be a whole number, and because of the fact that it's less than 20, therefore the possible values of n are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and thus 10 right there, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, and 19. There are 19 possibilities. And then I'm told in the first column, I'm, I'm told that uh, we have to take the product of all these fractions, product of all the fractions in set S, this set S. So let's take a product of all these fractions. I shouldn't have written all this out here because now I've occupied so much room, I, I have no room here. So let's take a product. The very first one is going to be, if n is 1, it's going to be 1 over 1 plus 1 times 2 over 2 plus 1 times 3 over 3 plus 1 times 4 over 4 plus 1, you see, n plus 1 times so on and so on and so on and so forth until I get 18 over 18 plus 1 and then 19 over 19 plus 1. So what happens when I take the product of all of these, when I take the product of all of these fractions, what happens? 
Let me rewrite this pro uh, fractions a little bit differently. 1 over 2 times 3, sorry, times 2 over 3 times 3 over 4 times 17 over 18 times 18 over 19 times 19 over 20. Where do I get 20 from? I thought n was supposed to be less than 20. n is less than 20, but at the bottom I have n plus 1. So if n is 19, plus 1 gives me 20. And what happens when I take the product of all of these fractions? This is what happens. This 2 is going to cancel out with that 2. This 3 is going to cancel out with this 3. And similarly, the next 4 is going to cancel out with this 4 here, and so on and so forth. Everything cancels out. This 17, this 17 is going to cancel out with this 17 here at the bottom that I have. This 18 is going to cancel out. This 19 is going to go. And basically the product of all of this is simply 1 over 20. That's it. That's the product of all of these fractions. So we have 1 over 20 in the first column. And we have 1 over 20 in the second column. These two are equal. These quantities are equal. 1 over 20 and 1 over 20. The two quantities are equal. The answer is C. And that's all. That's all it was. As I said, it's just a matter of paying attention to details. It's not the math that throws people off. It is learning how to take the exam and paying attention to all the minor details. Oh, well, I shouldn't have said minor details. These are not minor details. These are, these are imperative details. Actually, imperative details more of, sounds a bit of an oxymoron. Because if it's imperative, it cannot be minor. Uh, anyway, no. I forgot what I said. I have to forget about it. I forget what I just said a second ago. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to, if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, or if you wish to buy the solution manuals to these problems, please go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, G-R-E, dot com. And send me an email, all right? Thanks.